ask you. Okay. The meeting's being recorded. Okay. Hi. How are you, William? Uh, hello. You're in the Eurovision spirit. I can see behind you. A am I in the dark? No, it's perfect. Illuminated. Yeah. Can you see me? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, the first thing I wanted to do is smile because I remember your first review about my song. And you said, like, I wonder, we, uh, will this guy smile? So. <laughs> I do actually smile quite a lot in my real life. So not not on stage probably that much, but yeah. Really interesting because the song is so intense. You know, I we can see you kind of having these emotions, but then off camera you're smiling. So do you have to get in that mood or does it just happen when you're on the stage? Well, the song has its own story. And there are some stories you cannot say or tell. Uh, when you laugh or when you smile. I mean, you can, but I can't, I don't feel it that way. So when I'm telling this story, which is hollow, um, yeah, then then I'm in the, in that kind of mood, which is, there is, you can smile, but I don't see the smile there. Yeah, well, before we get into all of that, let's just say congratulations for winning LTV Supernova. How are you feeling? Oh, excited over the moon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very, very happy. And I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that um, that all the voters and uh, and thank you for for kind words and uh, kind, uh, you know, reviews about the song, uh, which is, uh, uh, I'm very grateful for that. And uh, it makes me very, very happy. Oh, you know, the first time we heard the song, before you had announced, we saw this music video for Hollow. And I remembered you from 10 years ago in Vince Spills at Zizma, the Eurovision selection. It was one of my first national selections. So when I saw your name, I said, oh. And then the song, it was so instantly, we just all felt, oh, wow, this is a hit. This is a hit on our hands. So I want to ask you, did you write the song thinking about Eurovision or were you just writing the song as a song? Uh, which which was the song? What Hello. was the song? Oh, Hello. Uh, no, uh, there was uh, it was just the song and the song was uh, born. And afterwards, I when I played the song to my friends around Europe, producers and songwriters and they were instantly like instantly this is Eurovision song this is Eurovision song and I from the very beginning I was wow okay all right so then I came back to Riga and uh came back to Riga and met with a friend of mine Edgar Balinch who's uh I would say a big expert uh from our country uh about your vision so and i asked him okay you decide should i go or should i don't and he said it's a must you have to and uh and and that's the rest of it is history then yeah edgar's is a dear friend of we we blondes <laughs> love him so much good taste the lyrics it's killing me slow. Try to make me just another believer. Everybody just pretending they're preachers. Could you tell us who are these preachers? What is the song about? Mm. It's a very good question. Uh, I would say that there, there is, uh, in our lives, there are moments that you feel like uh, like a hostage of your own uh, insecurities, uh, of your own uh, demons, uh, inner feelings, relationships, views, and um, there. Then there is this feeling that. There's so many truths and so many 
opinions about how you have to live your life uh, instead of your own and uh, and when it gathers and grows as a big piled ball of weight on your shoulders it pushes you down and uh we all been in all those kind of situations in our lives uh, when we're in love and we never get love back or or um, all those difficult situations. So all you need is a, either hope, a ray of hope where you can just like catch as a comet and it just drags you out of pile of struggle or you just choose to quit and just dig a hole and and you just go into that and you give up. Uh, and there are situations where we do give up and we just let part of us die or we keep on fighting for hope to bring us to the bright future, hopefully. So I would explain in that kind of way. It's question. interesting, the feelings you've just shared in the music video, I think it's very clear. I, it fits very, very well. Would you say that the song is hopeful even though it presents a challenge? Oh yeah, there's always a hope, you know? You have to have hope because without hope, I say we're doomed. And uh, as my personal view about the song, yeah, I would say that uh, I feel the hope and the dialogue with you can you name it like with uh, with the Almighty, and uh, you asking for for help um, in the moments when you're, as I told you before, when you're down. And um, that's why I probably could not sing song where there is no hope because it would be too depressing for me. Like uh, uh, I would probably, uh, yeah, cry uh, way more, way more than uh, with a song that there's hope in it. And the music video, it looks like you're a prisoner and you have all these, I guess they're demons or other inmates. I guess, what was the concept of the music video? Oh yeah, that's, uh, I usually want to work with uh, directors for uh, music videos. I do not intend like, uh, you know, mess around with their work. Uh, and uh, I let them guide me and I just, they point out what I have to do and uh, where's the feeling, what the feeling that he wants me to do uh, and express uh, to get it on camera. As I can see, I don't know how how do you see the video? Tell me, tell me your your view. I see you as a tortured soul, and you know you spoke about the critics, the demons, the voices. I think the other people who are wearing the same clothes as you, they are those critics, those demons, those monsters, and they're trying to push you in one direction, and you see yourself in them, same clothes, but you don't want you don't want to give in to them. So it's kind of like your mind. I'm seeing your mind basically in this sand and you have to find your way out of that to like a clear the clear vision that you have and it's not easy um the torture i guess tortured is the feeling i get but also there is hope actually because i think at the end there is the sun at some point we see the sun and yeah. it was like the light um no it's very tasteful it's very artistic um Thank you. which is interesting to then watch your stage show to see how you translate that from music video to stage show, because it's not easy, is it? It's, you, there's so many different ways to do it. Um, which actually leads me to my next question. 
the state yeah, no supernova. Um, where do you, in the end, you know, you had two different stagings. Where is your mind at right now with Eurovision staging? Well, those two stages are totally different uh, technologically. And you know what I'm talking about. The supernova stage is, you can't even compare to a uh, stage in Malmo. And uh, the, the, the technical possibilities that uh, uh, stage in Malmo uh, gives us. So uh, there's a big work ahead of us to get to 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 know the possibilities that the stage can provide and from that point you create uh a story you create a a performance and um for for that i would say that there is no um well we we have the vision at the moment but it could change uh, once we uh, gathered the information about technical possibilities, precisely. So, so I, I wouldn't want to speculate about, but it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be um, different from what we have seen here in Supernova. Uh, maybe some details will repeat, but which maybe not. I don't. I have no. Uh, uh, no idea because we're working at it actually starting yesterday. So, so it's a it, it is a uh, an evolving process. So we have to wait uh, for um, some kind of uh, results in weeks, two weeks probably. Uh, then, then we can see the uh, exact way where we heading uh but i i feel confident that the song has to tell the story itself and the the, the stage will help uh to do that yeah a lot of fans said they were really impressed with how between the semi-final and the final you were changing things you were still experimenting and you saw yeah. the chance to evolve um in between, was that your motivation? Were you thinking, let's try something else just to try? Or did you want more darkness to convey that message? Yes, I would say that um, the song itself wanted that. Mm -hmm. The darkness, the, 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 the more um, this, this, this sad moment of realizing the truth that is uh, either, as I told you before, either you just let them dig your hole or fly somewhere with your array of hope. And um, personally, I felt better in the finals uh, than in the semifinals. Uh, but let's see. I mean, let's see. I, 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 I'm curious as well as you are uh, for uh, for the outcome. So, trust me. When we will have the uh, first drafts and first, uh, I will be happy to 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 talk to you again and tell you the uh, what we have. <laughs> Fantastic. And this question keeps coming up over and over. People said during the winner's recap at Supernova, you're the new yeah. champion, you're singing, you included some Latvian lyrics in the song. For those of us who don't speak Latvian, could you one, tell us those lyrics and then tell oh, yeah, us? Oh yeah, sure. Oh yeah. Um, so the, the final line, we, we have Latvian version for it as well. Um, it's called Laustos Chap It's very hard to pronounce it, so so <laughs> don't try. Uh, but uh, the, the last lyrics is um, a sagrauts 
bet dzīvs. Varbūt šķiet, ka es te neprātās uzos, neko vairāk tik laiku es lūdzos. Which means I am basically destroyed or crushed, but I'm still alive. And you might seem that I'm just begging, but the only thing I'm asking is time. Mm -hmm. Wow. So time will give me strength to surpass these uh, sad seconds, hours, or years uh, in my life. And uh, yeah, that, that, that was the last line. So. We rarely hear Latvian at Eurovision. People usually sing totally in English. What will you do? Well, Hallo is in English. So Hallo has been chosen. Uh, uh, and so I'm going to sing in English. And if you really want to listen to the Latvian version, very welcome to do it. <laughs> okay, great. And, um, you know, Latvia often sends daring songs. They make brave choices, but it hasn't really worked out. 2016 was the last time Latvia was in the final. Yeah. And now everyone says, myself included, Dons will take Latvia to the final. I guess, do you feel pressure? Do you feel weight on your shoulders now that you're representing Latvia? Well, if I have the support as as uh, as you behind, then we're safe. Hey, so, fingers crossed. <laughs> hey, Una, uh, I'm going to do my best. Uh, and I, uh, and uh, I really hope that we're going to get through. And... Uh, yeah, so we have to we have to create uh, a, a show that um, that helps the song uh, to 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 fly, and uh, then it's just uh, from the vote, vote voters, as I as I understood. So, so in the semifinals, there there there's just going to be televote. So let's do our best and let's hope for the outcome. That's uh, everything can we do. And we mentioned at the start of the interview that you had been in the national final twice before, and both mm -hmm. times you almost won, you were close. Looking yeah. back now, are you maybe grateful you didn't win then because now you get to go with Hollow? Oh, yeah. Yes, I would say that. Uh, you've heard this phrase that everything happens for a reason. So many times, probably, right? <laughs> yeah. So for, for for this case, I would say, uh, whenever we uh, we uh, tried to go to your vision before, uh, I don't think I was ready then. Looking backwards, mm -hmm. looking back, I, I I don't think that I was ready, and I understood the um, the seriousness behind the uh this enormous festival of unity and show and um uh, and Eurovision family how big it is and uh you have to you have to be prepared for it i would say and you have to have the right song and i think in my case, Hollow for me was the right song. Mm. Yeah. And much of your music is in the Latvian language. When we go back, um, Hollow yeah. is one of the few English language songs. Does it feel differently for you as the performer when you're singing in English? Uh, no, I'll, uh, I'm just telling a story which is written and mm -hmm. how do I, uh, how I feel it. That is, uh, it for me, it doesn't matter uh, which language is it. Because in Latvia, I really like to sing in Latvian because this is my own language and it's our culture. And I, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful language. 
Latvian language is very, very beautiful. And uh, so there is no need for me to sing in English here in Latvia because we speak Latvian here. <laughs> and uh, I have some songs in past in English, but uh, I tend to go uh, to sing in, in, in Latvian because I really like it. And you are, of course, I mean, you're very humble, so you would not say this, but you're perhaps the biggest singer in Latvia, certainly among them. People always say this. And so when you released Hollow, there was all this hype about, oh, my God, you know, Don's is going to go to Eurovision, perhaps. With all the hype that surrounds you, how do you stay authentic and true to yourself? Uh, that is a very good question. I... I don't know. It's just uh, it's just I I kind of try to stay calm and uh, connect with my inner self before I go uh, on stage. And uh, but that's very very kind of you to say that uh, because inside of me there is a storm. It's just a matter of me holding it back. And sometimes I cannot. Like, for example, uh, 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 after this pandemic uh, time, then when when I, when I remember that uh, I had my first uh, concert after pandemic. So it was two years that I, I, I haven't been performed. So... I just broke down when I when I came off the stage. I just collapsed and started crying. And the emotions you cannot control is just they comes comes out, and you just just let them go out. And uh, because those emotions were so intense, I couldn't control it. I just had to let it go. Uh, but your question was how I stay so calm. I'm not calm inside. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm there with my demons and 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 uh, feelings about what's the story about. How do I see the picture in front of me? So it's basically holding my emotions back. That is how I stay calm controlling them, try to control them, but not always I'm, I'm successful with that. Would you say that music helps you control that? Is it the way for you to release anger, rage, sadness? Mm. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, music is, uh, music is the way, music is the answer for uh, secure, this uh the sadness and 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 also like embrace the happiness as well mm. there's not no need always to cry we can have fun you know why do we need to cry all the time but this song all right this song is about crying inside you know but there's songs that uh you just put on and just feel happy and uh feel you know you know, loved. Well, you also love to cook, I've read, and you studied oh, yeah. culinary arts for a little bit. Please tell us, yeah. were you ever going to become a chef? Was this like a big passion? Oh, growing no. Up? oh no, 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 no. Chef is uh, is a hard work. I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> but, but I would say that um, I do make really good lasagnas. Ooh really good lasagnas and um that is my uh uh best best meal best dish <laughs> is there a latvian secret in that lasagna actually i was uh, uh i was in uh in uh in italy uh, recording one song and uh i spent time with my friend's grandmother and she taught me that so uh, all those small secrets, how to make the meat, 
uh, milder with milk after you boil it with uh, wine, which gives the, I, I mean, there is there is a science behind it. So, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I, I can cook lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And a lot of people have been asking us, will Don's come to London for the London Eurovision party on the 7th of oh, April? Yes, thank you for invitation. I got the invitation. I will be there. Oh, fantastic. Oh my God, it will be so much fun. This is the news we needed to hear. Everything oh, okay, okay. Know. Thank you very much for, for invitation. I will be there. Oh, fantastic. And will you go elsewhere? Amsterdam, Madrid? Oh, we are uh, putting down uh, the um, uh, the schedule for it, uh, and but 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 the thing that I have not, um, uh, I just saw the invitation from uh, from London at the <laughs> April seventh, and uh, the sixth, I guess, is in Barcelona. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. So so. So we're going to try to be uh, in parties as much as we can. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, your fans will be very pleased to hear it. Now, Dons, I want to ask you a final question. And okay, sure. time answering. When Eurovision's over, what do you yeah. want people to remember about Dons? Wow, what a question. Oh, my gosh. That was a, that was a good one. Mm. I don't know. I have no idea. I never thought of it like, what would people remember me, remember me for? I would say, oh, that was the guy. Was that guy? That was the guy from Latvia singing the song Hollow. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe, I have no idea, man. It's just... All right, so I would say uh, I want to sing the song how I see it, and I really hope that uh, the message and the emotional uh, emotional, how do you say, eruption uh, catches uh, the listeners' ears and hearts, and just makes them happy, sad, touches them. It's just a matter of creating an emotion. Uh, and if it does, then it's great. Then it already uh, we, have we, we have achieved already uh, uh, the, uh, the, the goal, which is emotion. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I would, I would say that. And people will experience the emotion in semi-final two of Eurovision. The country is Latvia. If you want Dons in the final, you have to vote. This is a people's contest. You have to vote. Dons, <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks, William. It was nice talking to you. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> same, same here. I'm very, very happy. I'm looking forward to meet you in person. And uh, we're going to meet in, uh, in London or probably maybe in other parties earlier. Absolutely.